Welcome to Holistic Horseworks Talks. Join us with founder April Love as we talk about equine care. Learn what you can do to keep your horse happy, healthy, rideable, and sound through their 30s. Have a question you'd like to submit to the podcast? Just email April at holistichorseworks.com for a chance to get it featured on the next episode. Hi, this is Lillian. I'm here with April Love. I have a question about mares. It's uh, summertime, so they're cycling. We had an incident where we had a mare that was just being moody. Uh, all the other horses she was with were geldings at the time, and she just wanted to be horrible. What can I do to help this mare not be so moody? So, you know, just like us, when we're in pain, you can be cranky and snappy. You know, so first I would try, you know, my horse yoga program just to make sure in her body that she's more comfortable. And I have a free horse yoga video and they're just five basic stretches to do every day. So first, you know, I would do that. I know that if they're cycling really strong, I know some vets will put a marble in there, which will kind of trick the uterus to think like they're pregnant. So they're not squirting and peeing in front of every gelding when you're trying to at a horse show and you're trying to get in the ring and they're squatting and presenting, you know, for a gelding or a stallion next to them, it can be quite irritating. I also know that Silver Lining Herbs has a really good product called Mare Moods. It's a moody mare supplement. And I'm not quite sure of all the ingredients. I know raspberry leaf might be in there because I've heard raspberry leaf is really good. So first I would look at body issues and I do long distance readings for viral bacterial, what bones are out of alignment, what does the horse need, where do they have pain? I would like to start with that first and balance their system before spending $75 on a Moody Mare supplement. And, you know, even using my yes, no kinesiology, you know, what would help this mare be happier in her body? Does would a marble in the uterus or, you know, the herbs, the mare moods or, you know, body work, or is it a combination of all three? you know, what can I do to help balance her hormonal system? Because, you know, I've known mares that even at a horse show or event, which is back, you know, go out of their way to back up and kick another horse. And that's just so dangerous. So, um, yeah, so I would definitely do my horse yoga and make sure they can do the butt tucks, the belly lifts, all of that. Make sure they're comfortable in their body. Uh, Try the mare moods and talk to your vet about if a marble inside be better for stabilizing them, depending on how severe their cycling is and what's out of balance in their body. So I hope that helps you. I do have my free ebook, which is horseacademy101.com. I also have on Amazon Horse 102 Holistic Alternatives with some essential oils and other products that you can try for issues like this. And of course, my website is holistichorseworks.com. We'll see you there. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Holistic Horseworks Talks with April Love. Remember to check the show notes for links to all the resources mentioned in this episode. Have a question you'd like to submit to the podcast? Email April at holistichorseworks.com for a chance to get it featured on the next episode. Loved this information? Share it with your horse friends. They'll find it helpful too. To learn more, visit holistichorseworks.com. And before you go, make sure you have a copy of our free ebook, Horse 101, Everything You Wish You Had Known Before You Got Your First Horse at horseacademy101.com.